it's been a while since the last time you guys saw me and I figured today since I have a couple of minutes I can do a faves for um I don't know if you want to call it beauty or what but it's going to be for my skin and it's also going to be for my hair and this is going to be my faves for February 2014. So if you want to see what my faves are, then all right, stay so tuned. Let's talk about uh, hmm, what do I want to do first? Let's do skin, face. Um, I get asked this question all the time. What do I do to my face to make it look this way? There's nothing different that I do to my face that I did months and years ago. Um, I've had clear skin for about 10 years now, but back in high school, honey, I had the worst skin ever. I finally got down a routine, so yeah. In the morning, I use these uh, facial wipes, and um, what you do is you open it up here, and there's like little napkins in there, and they almost look like baby wipes and you can actually use baby wipes instead of using these but I don't know I catch these when they don't sell because you know a sister can keep on but yeah um you just when you wake up in the morning after you brush your teeth um and you have like all this stuff all over your face and you know you got the sleep in your eyes stuff like that I'll take one of those and I'll just wipe my face down throw it away I'm good to go. I don't have to worry about moisturizing my face or anything like that because I have oily skin. I've always had oily skin. So moisturizing my face is a no-no. You don't do that. If you have oily skin, you do not want to moisturize your face because all that does is cause buildup on your face. But for those of you that have dry skin for your face, that is, then you want to use something like coconut oil for instance or grapeseed oil um i would say jojoba oil but jojoba oil is just a tad bit too strong for the face a lot of people tend to break out but coconut oil and grapeseed oil are awesome for moisturizers um so that's my reference to you guys if you guys have dry skin but if you have oily skin you wash your face and you don't touch it again you don't put lotion on your face nothing like that yeah leave it alone um if i'm in the shower i will take my black soap and yes this is raw unrefined black soap if you guys don't know anything about black soap or you don't know where to get it please inbox me and i will give you the information so what i do is i will take that black soap and i will rub it in my hands and it'll come to a lather pretty quickly and black soap takes your skin down to the bare bone i mean like any type of dirt you have on your skin it'll take it off if you have makeup on instead of using baby wipes you use the black soap and you just rub it on your face honey it'll come right on off i'm not lying to you and then i take this little contraption right here and as you can see it has the little bristles and I'll normally take this and it has an on and off button here and it buzzes so I'll take that and then I'll like scrub my face if I want to do like a deep clean also on my face my favorite chapstick right now is this lip therapy by Vaseline on and it's the cherry the flavor skin the rest of the body For to moisturize that I use the um shea butter by Jergens Jergens each their own um i'll normally do like two pumps of this and it's pretty darn empty and then i will take my raw shea butter and um i'll order this wholesale but i put it in these containers and this was raw unrefined shea butter that i took and whipped together if you guys want to try my whip shea butter you can inbox me for that information as well because i also have that um i get questions all the time and i actually do sell this from time to time when i have it in stock but as you guys can see it's very very creamy and i have a lot of essential oils in here a lot of 
um, moisturizers, different things like that. And you can actually use this for your skin or you can use this for your hair. I myself use it for both. And if you guys don't know anything about shea butter, you better get on it because shea butter is awesome. If you have stretch marks, it works awesome for that. Because you hear people talk about, oh, well, I use this for my stretch marks, that for my stretch marks, and it doesn't work. Shea butter is known for helping with scarring. Any type of scarring that you have, whether it be stretch marks, um, marks from, you know, previous uh, incidents or from surgeries. It helps with that stuff also. It also helps with eczema. And I myself, honey, I have eczema and it's horrible. The baby has eczema and it's actually on his face, but I use my shea butter on his face and it does awesome for his skin. It keeps your skin nice and moisturized. Um, I have a lot of dry patches, especially around my ankles because you know I... I'm one that is always ashy and my shea butter here will always, always use the true hair. For the hair, my favorite products have been Alakay Naturals. This is the um, leave-in conditioner. This is lemongrass leave-in conditioner. And then I also have the Essential 17 hair growth oil. I use this also. And I also use the Honey and Sage Deep Conditioner. These are actually trials, but I have the bigger ones. I just Those are my favorite hair care products right now. If you guys want to know what my hair routine is or you want to know what my skin routine is, please leave a comment below and I will make sure to record myself in the morning when I'm getting ready so you guys can see what my routine is. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, please thumbs up this video if you haven't already. Make sure you subscribe. Um, thank you for watching and I love you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.